Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about the RC step function. What do we mean by an RC step function? Well, what we have here is a circuit that contains a voltage source, a DC voltage source, attached to resistor and a capacitor, but there's also a switch that is open, which will be closed at t equals zero. So prior to t equals zero, there's no current, there's no voltage applied to the circuit. So what happens is once we close the, the switch, then the voltage is applied so we can, we can then represent the voltage at the source as a function of time as being the constant voltage source V sub S times the step function that is one at time equals zero and zero prior to that time. So that's simply the voltage applied to it simply looks like that. And so this is V sub S at T equals zero and V equals zero prior to that. Well, we have three possible cases with the capacitor where the capacitor either does not have any charge in it on it at time equals zero, or the capacitor does have charge on it in such a way that the voltage here is greater than the voltage here, or we can have the situation where the voltage here is smaller than the voltage over here, depending upon what kind of charge is loaded on there. If there's positive charge on this side of the capacitor, this voltage will be higher than this. If there's negative charge on the capacitor, then this side of the capacitor will have a smaller voltage than this side right here. So here conceptually are the three particular situations that can happen, and conceptually what will happen to the voltage across the capacitor as the switch is closed. In our first case, when there's no charge on the capacitor, there will be no voltage across the capacitor at time equals zero, and then when the switch closes, charge of uh, current will begin to flow through the circuit, and eventually, after five time constants, the voltage across the capacitor will be nearly the same as the voltage across the source, and there will be virtually no voltage drop across the resistor. Second case is there's already some charge on the capacitor, some positive charges over here, negative charges here, so we have some initial voltage across the capacitor at time equals zero. Then when the switch is closed, additional charge will be piled on the capacitor driven there by the source, and so you can see that the voltage will then go from V initial, the voltage across the capacitor, to the voltage from the, for, from the source that's driven towards the capacitor. And finally, we could have some negative charges here and positive charges there, so that there's a negative voltage across the capacitor from here to there, and therefore at time equals zero, the voltage will be a negative voltage, but then as soon as the switch is closed, the current will begin to flow, and then the voltage will reach a maximum value, V sub S, at after five time constants. So those are the kind of things we'll we can run into, and we're going to investigate those a little bit closer in the next several videos.